sitting in my car up on the hill right now because I have these uh, rotten apples that I sorted through from one of the bushels that we kept in cold storage and I just wanted to toss them over to the cows just for like, I don't know, not wasting them, not just throwing them away. I mean, I would put them on the compost, but I think the cows will enjoy them. So I'm just going to toss them over the fence, but um, I'm sure you just saw... Uh, getting all of the evaporator stack set up and some of the back room set up. We've just been spending the past couple days like patching everything together and making sure everything is fully functional. So we're on our third night of boiling now and we are making the most amazing syrup. So I can't wait to show you guys some of that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted, it's almost like 4.30 I think. And I just thought I would check in now cause it's like a, such a pretty day. It's been windy, but it's literally 60 degrees right now. Like I'm hot in this sweatshirt. So I'm just gonna go toss these apples over and I'll bring you guys into the back room with me. But yeah, I don't think I had checked in since we were setting up the back room. And since we're on our third night of boiling now and the season is like here and we're uh, all tapped and everything, I just, ready to show you guys a little bit more about the making of the maple syrup. <laughs> so let's go give these cows a snack. Moo-moos! <laughs> yeah, see how, like, I don't know, you guys can probably hear the wind. It's definitely breezy, but beautiful day. I'm just up by their bunk feeder because this is where they've all been hanging out. Oh, if someone's getting a snack, you bet the others are not going to miss out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, girlies. Oh my God, they're so pregnant. babies I just took the press apart so it's soaking to get what came through on the filters off I'm gonna put the press back together with these filter papers but I'm gonna link a video here from last year where I do this exact thing just a little bit more in depth so you guys can see what I'm talking about when I say I clean the press Everything just turned to a sheet of ice. Cool. So winter has made its return. Um, that's not weird for up here. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure in the last video it was like gorgeous out by the end of the video. So I don't know, whatever. Um, we're in for like cold weather again, like single digits, which is good because hopefully it just prolongs the sap season. Um, but yeah, I just got a new heat bulb because one of them went out in the chicken house and I wasn't that concerned about it, but now that we're going to have single digits again, I want to make sure they got warmth in here. Um, yeah, we were getting snow and then it warmed up overnight, turned to rain, like freezing rain, so it's just icy everywhere. It's nasty. The joys of upstate. <laughs> I like made a sudden movement and they all stopped. <laughs> This is like, I always pick the chicken house to start talking and then I'm like, okay, well, it's not the best background noise. Oh man, I'm kind of tired today. Um, I'm just going to put this table away from the event that we had on Tuesday night for Mardi Gras, which was a pancake dinner benefit. Um, it was like a Fat Tuesday event that we do every year, but this year 
we had it benefit a local family that their house burned down in Jefferson. So anyway, it was a huge success. Like we had so many members. Sorry, I have hair in my mouth. <laughs> we had so many members of the community come. Um, it was, yeah, it was a really great event. So thank you to everybody that came. I mean, every single year I love doing the Fat Tuesday dinner, but this was just, you could just feel how everyone was there for that reason and everyone was really wanting to contribute. So that was cool. But yeah, in other news, our um, part of getting set up this year was getting a new set of membranes for our reverse osmosis machine. So that just got delivered. Um, that is a pricey piece. And my dad and Sam are gonna roll it in right now and get that hooked up in the next couple days. So that's exciting that that's here. But yeah, I'm just tired today. We've been canning for most of the day. We left a bunch of really nice medium syrup in the finishing pan last night because we knew we wanted to can all day today. We really like to put like nice medium in our glass containers because it's like nice and like a little bit lighter and clear. And then we did a ton of jugs too. So I'll show you just bringing the machine inside and also some of the canning that we've been doing today when I get back into the sap house. They usually build these right onto a cart. So I think we're just gonna like roll it inside. sap customers this guy Jim brings us sap and I'm gonna guess he's heading to Buck Hill with that tank on the back of his truck lovely weather we're having huh don't worry guys I'm only driving like 15 miles an hour but yeah it's supposed to just get colder all day it's already only like 20 and it's supposed to go down to single digits so sap's probably I mean definitely not gonna run for at least till Sunday I think today's Friday so just gonna boil through everything that we have right now. Yep, I can see the evaporator going as I get to work. I'm a little late today, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you ever see a sugar house with that steam billowing out the top, it means they're boiling sap. See, look at that. There's Jim pulling over. Just got to work. Ooh, let me zoom out. Not in. So yeah, I just got to work. It's a nasty day. Um, we started boiling at like 7 a.m. and there's just like lots going on today. Um, since it's Friday, I have to prep for breakfast. I need to go do the chickens, take care of the chickens. Um, I picked up my bread order early this morning, so uh, I have to unload all this bread. I got like 120 loaves of bread, so I have to make freezer space for that. And yeah, mostly get around to prepping breakfast and helping with boiling if I can, just watching the dial or I don't know what, but. Ugh. Anyway, I ought to get some gloves on. Happy Friday! Hi friends! So, the weekend went by. Um, I think I last picked up the camera on Friday when we were getting the membranes delivered for the RO machine and boiling through the sap that we had because it was going to be cold. Uh, I did not end up picking up the camera this weekend because it was cold and I worked both days at breakfast so I was just a little bit exhausted. <laughs> so it's Monday and it's almost the end of the day right now actually. It's almost five o'clock and 
before I ended this video, I was just editing it and I realized that I did want to explain a little bit more about the RO machine because I'm sure a lot of you don't even know what that is and I mention it in other videos. So just thought I'd tell you a little bit about that part of the process. So I'm at the RO room right now. Um, my cousin and my brother this morning were finishing the installation of the new membranes and they're pretty excited about it. So I thought I would just start with the basics of, okay, the sap comes out of the tree and I know I've talked about sugar content before and it being lower than other years, but typically anywhere from like one and a half percent to three and a half percent is where we see it come out of the tree. Um, and that's like percent sugar. So the rest is pretty much water and whatever. So when it goes, when we gather the sap and we bring it down to the sap house, and it goes through the RO machine, which stands for reverse osmosis machine. It just concentrates the sap a little bit more. So let me just go in this room. So yeah, concentrates the sap a little bit more. Um, they're excited because hopefully it's going to up our concentration percentage by like almost 7%. So getting 7% more water removed from the sap so we're that much closer to the sugar content that maple syrup needs to be so once it gets through the RO machine um, then we bring it into the evaporators which is where we condense it more we cook it down so that it gets closer to the viscosity of maple syrup um, which everybody knows is you know thick and sticky so it's quite a bit of concentrating in those two processes that gets it from sap to syrup um, but I just wanted to show you these are the new membranes installed. So these membranes are semi-permeable. So that's why we can still get the sap through it, but it only removes, you know, partial material from the sap going through it. So it just gets more water out of it and still lets the sugar content get through. Um, Cause obviously you don't want to be removing, obviously you don't want to be removing any sugar from your sap because that would definitely be shooting yourself in the foot when you're only starting with like 2% to begin with. Um, that's why I say it's been like shitty sugar content years because the sugar content is, hasn't been above 2% which is not great. Um, there's like the rule of 86 which I don't know if I, I think I said this maybe last year but there's this general rule with maple syrup but it's called the rule of 86 where if you divide 86 by your sugar content it's how many gallons of sap it would take to make a gallon of maple syrup so the higher number that you get to divide 86 by the less sap you're going to need to make maple syrup um because you can't fake your maple syrup density like you can't call it syrup unless it's gotten to a certain percentage of sugar so hopefully that all made sense it's really not that complicated it's just um there is some math involved in trying to up your efficiency of the process so yeah comment below if that wasn't clear or if you have other questions um i want to go into more about the sap moving through the evaporators and um a little bit about like the degrees when it's in the evaporator and in the finishing pan but i want to do that when we're boiling so that will probably be in two more days so anyway i was going to call this the end of this video sorry traffic I was gonna call this the end of this video because um, I'm editing it right now and we're supposed to get a big snowstorm tonight like a foot of snow I think and yeah so I just figured I'd wrap it up now anyway thank you guys so much for watching I know this was a little bit of a shorter video but I just wanted to get some clips of our first couple sap runs and the first couple barrels of maple syrup that we've been making but like I said I'm gonna go into a little bit more details about other parts of the process in the next video. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you then.